Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about cylindrical coordinates. So cylindrical coordinates. Coordinates. So cylindrical coordinates are an extension of polar coordinates. So let's go through this very, very carefully. So first, uh, a point P which we can call x, y, z and rectangular is represented represented by another ordered triple except this time it's r theta so these are the r and theta from polar coordinates and then z so this is a cylindrical coordinate, so cylindrical coordinate. Certain functions can be graphed and, or represented rather very easily with cylindrical coordinates and we'll look at that uh, a little bit later. Let's define everything very very carefully here. So here, so 1. So r theta is the polar representation. So let me go ahead and write that down to be concrete. So r theta is the polar representation representation of, and here's the thing, of the projection of p, of the projection of p onto or in about in the xy plane and I'll give you a picture in a second um, so you can see exactly uh, how it works so r theta is the polar representation of P when you project it down into the xy plane and the second comment is that z here is the directed distance so directed distance from r theta to p. So from r theta to big P. Let me give you a picture so you can see uh, how it all goes together and then we'll look at some formulas and do some problems. So let's go ahead and draw uh, the 3D plane. So this here will be our z axis. So this is z. So z. And then we're using a right-handed coordinate system. That means the x axis is over here and the y-axis uh, would be here. Okay, And then let's change it up a little bit. So maybe here is uh, r, right here, r. It's going to be r. And then here is theta. Okay, There's our beautiful theta. And then p would be maybe somewhere up here. So here's the point p. And the point p can be written in rectangular coordinates as x, y, z, or in polar coordinates as r theta z. And so you see um, r theta is the projection of p into the x, y plane. So like if you kind of just like let it drop down, it's like boom, right there. That's, that's r theta that comes from, from this down here. So that's what a cylindrical coordinate looks like. Let's talk about the formulas. Let's go through the formulas for converting rectangular to cylindrical and vice versa. So cylindrical to rectangular. Let's talk about that first and then we'll do uh, some problems. So cylindrical to rectangular. All right, so the formulas are very similar to the ones um, you use to go from polar to rectangular. So these should be pretty easy when you see them. So x is our cosine theta, very popular formula, and y is our sine theta. And to make things even easier, z is simply equal to z. Okay, so really, really straightforward. And then if you're going from rectangular to cylindrical, so rectangular to cylindrical, It's also not too bad. So we have the familiar formula r squared equals x squared plus y squared. 
the tangent of theta equal to y over x and z equals z. Okay, let's go ahead and do a couple examples of going from cylindrical to rectangular and um, vice versa. So we'll do we'll do both both examples. Let's start with uh, how about this one here? E x means example. So we're given a point in cylindrical. So cylindrical. The point here uh, is going to be four. 5 pi over 6, comma 3. So this is in cylindrical. And the question is to convert it to rectangular. So convert to rectangular. OK, let's work through it. Solution. So the point is in cylindrical, right? So uh, let me scroll up so we can see the formulas. There we go. So the first thing you want to do is identify uh, your variables. So this is r. This is theta. And this is z. Okay, so I'm going to write them down here. So r is four. Uh, theta is pi over five pi over six. And z is three. And then all we have to do is use the formulas: x equals r cosine theta, y equals r sine theta, z equals z. So let's write those out. So x is r cosine theta. So r cosine theta. So x is four times the cosine of 5 pi over 6. So the cosine, the reference angle for 5 pi over 6 is pi over 6. And the cosine of pi over 6 is the square root of 3 over 2. But cosine is the x-coordinate on the unit circle. So the cosine of 5 pi over 6 is going to be negative square root of 3 over 2. So I said that very quickly. Uh, I was just explaining how to get this. Some people have it memorized. Uh, whatever works. <laughs> so there is our x, right? There is our x. And then y equals our sine theta. So y is equal to 4 times the cosine of 5 pi over 6. And that's going to be 1 half. So that's going to be uh, 4 times 1 half. So that's 2. And now we can write our answer down, right? It's going to be x, y, z. So it's going to be parentheses negative 2 square root of 3. Um, y is 2, and z is 3. So we've converted um, cylindrical to rectangular. Let's go backwards. Let's go backwards. Let's go backwards. Let's say we have the point uh, 1 square root of 3, comma 2. So this is in um, rectangular. And we're going to convert it to cylindrical. So convert to cylindrical. Okay, so solution. So this is x, y, z. x, y, z. So x here is 1. y is the square root of 3. And z is equal to 2. Right, z is equal to 2. So using this, we need to come up with um, r, um, theta, and z. Well, we've already got z, so that's really, really good. So we just need r and theta. So we know that uh, x squared plus y squared is r squared. That means r is the square root of x squared plus y squared. So it'll be 1 squared uh, plus the square root of 3 squared. Oh, how nice. How nice. This is 1 plus 3. Uh, works out beautifully. So we get the square root of 4, which is 2. So r, in this case, is equal to 2. Right? r is equal to 2. So that's our r. And now we just need theta. So to find theta, okay, to find theta, it's going to take some work. We have that the tangent of theta is equal to y over x. Okay, it's y over x. Okay, y over x. And this is going to be... Um, Let's see, the square root of 3, that's y, over 1. So we want uh, an angle, uh, the angle of theta, such that the tangent of theta uh, is equal to the square root of 3. Let's think about where x and uh, y are. Okay? x and y, if we look at the xy plane, are in the first quadrant, so it's here. Okay? So our theta uh, could be an angle, should be an angle, uh, in this uh, quadrant. Now, you can do it down here too, right? So there's infinitely many uh, angles theta, right? The the representation is not unique. You can add two pi. In this case, you can add pi, and it'll still work. 
So uh, theta here, just from memory, is equal to pi over 3, right? That's the value of theta, such that the tangent of theta is equal to uh, the square root of 3. If you have trouble with that, just remember it, tangent of theta is sine over cosine. And um, it should be sine of pi over 3 over cosine pi over 3, right? That's what should be equal to the square root of 3. And the sine of pi over 3 is the square root of 3 over 2. So the square root of 3 is up top, right? That's how I know it's that, right? Because this is equal to square root of 3 over 2 over 1 half. So that's square root of 3 over 2 times 2 over 1. Boom, boom, square root of 3. So uh, easy way to think about it or just memorize it. So there's our theta. So our final answer, our final answer in this problem is going to be, let's see, r theta z. So it'll be, it'll be 2. Uh, our theta was pi over 3, right, here's our, here's our pi over 3, whoops, 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 so 2 pi over 3, I'm thinking polar, <laughs> and then we have z, so z is just z, it's, it's 2, so this is the cylindrical representation of this point, or a cylindrical representation, right, it is not, uh, it is not unique, it is not unique. Um, I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there. Um, We'll keep going. We'll make more of these, more, more, more videos on cylindrical. So that's it.